Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 1 of Let's Platinum and 100% Uncharted 2 Among Thieves on the Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection. Alright, here we go. Now, I haven't played this in a very long time. Uh, everyone says this is the best one, and, uh, you know, let's find out. <laughs> I'm really hoping that that hit detection is much better than the first one, but we'll see. Wow, is that what it looked like? Alright, I'm just going to go through the options real quick. Yes, yes, tutorial hints. Why can't you turn off tutorial hints? That's odd. <laughs> uh, controls, I want my... I think that's actually all set out exactly the same way as it was in 1, which is good, because that's what I want. Motion blur. Object, object and camera. I'll just leave that as it is. Audio. It's okay, language it's fine, credits, there we go. Okay, new game, campaign, and we're going to play on Crushing, because I need to unlock Brutal. Now the only problem is, I haven't played this in a long time, so Crushing is going to be difficult for me. Uh, brutal, can't even be begin to imagine how hard that's going to be, but <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get through it. I got through it on number one, so I can get through it on this one. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo, on his deathbed in 1324. Huh. Okay, we're just gonna listen to the beginning. Uh, what's going on? Uh, 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 that's my blood. That's my blood. That's a lot of my blood. sound a little bit. Everyone says that the beginning of this game is is crazy good and, and I agree I, th I think it is and how the hell do I even start? Here? Yeah I think it's here and then over there on that on there alright. Jump Drake. Okay maybe not let's go back up. <laughs> Actually like I've legitimately forgotten how to even start. <laughs> it's alright we'll, we'll get there we'll get there. Oh wow, so they actually put a camera change on the on the other side if you choose to go there. It's very interesting. Uh, is it here? Yeah, cool. I'm like, you can't climb onto that thing. <laughs> Alright, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's definitely the word I would have used if I was in this position. It's a weird first cutscene, he's like all bloodied up, and yet there's no... he doesn't seem to be... like his clothes don't seem to have tears in them. He's just got blood everywhere, and he says it's his blood. And yet he's able to do this. He's a very strong man. God, this is so slow. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. I like the way this... yeah, this is a pretty cool section, the way that bends and turns. So that you can continue. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a leap. And then we climb up here. And now we can actually get inside the train. And from memory, you're supposed to jump to this. Then you got to face to the left, correct? Climb on top of that. Climb up here. One more. Then you got to. Okay, you can just press X there. You don't even have to press a direction. Is there a missing sound effect there? That seemed like he didn't scream at all. Uh, oh yeah, and then you grab to these little... Because how, how could you be grabbing those? Those things are like... Razor blades, aren't they? <laughs> It'd be so sharp. And now we're literally just above where we <laughs> where the pipe bent. We're almost there. Oh, that's a perfect time for that to happen. Alright, up we go. 
I don't think there are any enemies in the first chapter. Maybe, I don't know. I kind of hope there are so I can check the hit detection. Alright, up, up, up. Oh my god. Drake, get up there. We're almost, we're almost out. You would be running for your life right now. Run. Go, 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 go. And help. Thank God. <laughs> Spamming X, even though I probably don't need to. Uh, now I'll press X. Okay, there we go. I don't know if you have to press X there or not, but whatever. Okay, so now what do we get? Do we get a, a cutscene? Oh, we get a cutscene. Okay, I'm gonna increase volume and be quiet. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? The client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. All right, I'm listening. Now, you're not gonna like this. Oh, no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out for no, a second. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake. Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. <laughs> right, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp, something that pinpoints the site of the Lost Fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in, then? The beer is called Bloody the Hook. <laughs> I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Is that a Bubsy reference? <laughs> okay, now we're back. God, that looks good. 
my TV. It's just like looks amazing. All right, let's get our first treasure. Got to walk all the way over here. You probably saw it shine there. And a second time, and a third time. Collect the first treasure. We got first treasure um, trophy. Wrathful deity statue. That looks really cool, actually. So much. There's tons more detail in, in this treasure, in these treasures that, than there were in the first one. All right, let's have a look. So now we're gonna go over here somewhere. A tree gonna collapse. Oh god! Get in there, Drake. There we go. And it did. All right, now where's the second one? The uh, second one should be. Hang on a sec. I'll find it momentarily. There are a lot more treasures. Yeah, here we go. The second one is right there. There it is. And we also get our gun. 92 FS. This time we start with it instead of having to play 75% of the game before we get it. Okay, so that's the second one. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, this this game has a lot more treasures than the first one did, like tons more. Hmm. It also apparently has a larger bullet capacity. Oh, okay. Of course it's locked. It's always locked. Okay, so what do we do when something's locked? We shoot it. I can't test the heat detection with just that. Okay, so for the next treasure, it's actually right here. It's right... Where is it? Ah, there. Okay. And to get it, you gotta shoot it down. That is the third treasure, I believe. Alright, let's find the next one. Next one is... Yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on. No, I didn't want to do that. Wow. Karma's a bitch. That was... Interesting. I don't know why... I don't know what it even happened there, to be honest. <laughs> I thought I pressed circle and for some reason he jumped on top of the... thing, so... Not really sure. That's alright. Alright, let's keep walking. Um, I will give credit where credit is due. Um, I'm using PS4 trophies as guide again to collect the treasures, to figure out what they all are. I think for Drake's Fortune I could probably do it on my own now, like I could probably memorize all the positions, but um, but for number two I just, I don't remember it as much as number one. Alright, so to get the next one it's down here, there we go, that's number four I believe, yeah that's number four, okay so let's get number five, number five I think is the last one in this chapter, it's not too far away. There are a lot of trophies in this one, uh, trophies, there are a lot of um, treasures in this one and they just sort of, it's every like minute you'll find another treasure. Well, not minute, because then there would only be an hour and forty minute game. We got big cutscenes here. Am I supposed to get up? Is that another cutscene? Another flashback? Oh, I forgot to lower the sound from before. Oh well. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. <laughs> when I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in. On the action. So, what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, we find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. 
with Flynn. Mm-hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me. Yep, still like a learn it better. <laughs> That's just me. Alright, let's get up. Let's move it! Come on, Drake. Drake, time to wake up. Um. Wait, so I tried to go there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we jump over here. Wow, that was. Time slowed down for me when I made that jump. <laughs> Okay, here we go. The final treasure is right here. So you climb up. And then you climb up here. And then you walk around. And there it is. This is the final treasure in Chapter 1. We get Beginner Fortune Hunter, which is not a trophy. You only get trophies for every 10. Uh, beginner Fortune Fortune Hunter is a medal. There we go. Oh, hang on. No, sorry, every 20. Every 20, not 10. 10 is for the first one. Yeah, look at all those trophies. Ah, this one's set up much better. Hey, we don't have to get dynamite anymore. That's good. Beast mode? What's that? Pet all the yaks in the village. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, the reticle hasn't changed. I seem to remember there being a different reticle for either two or three. It could still be in two, but I might just have to aim at an enemy. Alright, let's go. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we've got enemies. So I was wrong. What the hell? <laughs> it's like he was holding a shotgun. Oh, this bit, yeah. Uh, if I remember correctly... Oh, okay, cutscene. Yeah, I saw that before the cutscene uh, yeah, occurred, and I was just like, do I have to get that or what? Oh, hang on, this might be for chapter two. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. You won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. Can't <laughs> afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. Do if they switch the patrols. Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is gonna take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> okay. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. Uh. 
Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Let's see. Okay. You sure you know where you're going? Don't know your ways. Okay, so chapter two interestingly starts between chapter one I love the and way the water makes your jeans all squidgy. Three. <laughs> That's a great <laughs> sentence. Um, no, but I, I think what they did was like they sort of combined it. Like so the good old days, chapter isn't it? one is yeah. present day, chapter two is those again? happened in the past. It's a nice, interesting way of making the gameplay unique. Or a little different to what number one was, because number one was basically just a steady stream of. Oh, wait. Go here, go there. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? From there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn. Right? <laughs> what? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. In like Flynn, right? I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Here it comes. Show. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> okay. Um. So climb up here. Almost there. Climb up here. Glory. Here we go. Triangle. Okay, so now our first treasure is coming up. Pretty easy one. We're good. You actually probably get this um, if you were playing just normally because you'd like search around for it. Alright, um, it's right here. Okay, cool. That's number six. Little coin. Um, let's see, now we have to figure out where to go next, ah here we go. So we hold triangle here, Reach up there, the, okay. the hell, why did he radio me? <laughs> I'm too far away to, to talk to you with a normal voice otherwise they're going to hear me. Yeah, Alright, so we climb up here. Oh, let's move. This bit just does really All move right. that quick. This is the way to the then court. you jump up here, and you can pick up the next treasure here. Beautiful. Oh, what is that? That looks really nice. Glass evil eye. It's cool. I love that blue. High quality treasures. All right, where's the next one? Um, let's see. Oh, also I should mention he he was talking about um. Well. I think it's We're up not here. Going this way. He was talking about the fact that he wanted a gun, or right. what's his name was talking about the fact that he wanted a gun. Hang on, find I'll it, then. let him talk for a sec. Yeah, what's his face was talking about that he wanted a gun, but Drake was like, well, you know, they're just security guards, we don't need to kill them. And I think it was sort of a way to make Drake a little bit more of a protagonist rather than an antagonist, or at the very least a hero rather than an anti hero, is probably what I should say. Um, yeah, so it's a little interesting sort of uh, evolution of his character. Okay, the next treasure is still a little while away. And it'll probably be the last one I get for this episode. Okay, no enemies yet. Okay, now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? Alright, so it's coming up. Let's see. So the treasure... If I don't get caught, should be right here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I got it. Um, how long have we got? I think I'll stop it now, because I don't know what's ahead, and... Uh, I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Alright, so yeah, the next episode we're going to break through there. Alright guys, I want to thank you all for watching episode 1 of Let's Platinum and 100% Uncharted 2 Among Thieves on the Uncharted Nathan Drake Collection. My name is Ultima456 and I'll see you next time.